I can hear you over the others, then go ahead, yes. Okay, okay, so my first thing, Governor, is it seems like we're having an odd amount of crashes in this city. I was wondering, do you plan on removing extra debris, rocks, and trees so there would be less crashes in the city? Uh, no, because of all the crashes in the city, it means that more things get damaged, more things get repaired, and more people get jobs, and I'm here to make Los Santos great again. Oh, well... I do have a question. We had a talent show early today, and the Department of Police seemed so underfunded that they didn't have two officers to spare. Do you have a comment on the low population of officers in the city? Yes, I do. Of course. Uh, one moment. All right. So my comment about the low numbers in the um, police department is that um, Currently, we are working on a bill to get new legislation approved, okay. which Can would you... mean that if it yeah. gets approved, we will get a Minister of Homeland Security, which will be the one responsible to oversee all other state organizations and make sure that in events like this, um, situations like that won't occur anymore. Okay, and I do have a follow-up question to that. Um, with the new position of Homeland Security being available and on the floor of the bill, um, d are you saying that the chief of police is not doing his job well enough to actually to do the safety of our city? No, what I actually mean is that the chief of police will do his job even better than he already is. Okay. So you think the chief of police is doing a fantastic job? I have not refuted that as of yet. As the governor, I should. That's true. But as the chief of police is newly um, appointed the chief of police, I would like to give him some time to get his organization up and running. And um, yeah, you know, the best aspect are the people. Definitely. The people. We have a great community going on. We have um, a lovely economy going on. Everyone is doing what they can to improve the city. Everyone is here to yeah, basically uh, live their lives in a good way. And I think that we are, as a people, as a um, as a community, really actively working together to just have great lives, actually. But that's yes. that's the, the the thing I like about the city. It's mostly the community. Yeah, and Governor, I do have a question. Um, when it comes to just providing services to the city, this amazing city that you are doing well governing, uh, do you want to add? Um, thank you, thank you. Of course, of course, Governor. Thank you for actually having this interview with me. Nice, um, nice accent, right? My, my question to you is, what is more important for your administration? The healthcare department and funding more uh, doctors and ambulance drivers or the police department with security? For me, it's definitely the healthcare department. Why? A uh, healthy citizen means happy citizen. Happy citizen means less crime. Less crime means uh, less need for police. Mm -hmm. And while our economy is booming, uh, this is my also my last question for you, Governor. I won't keep you too much. I know you're a busy man. Um, with the economy booming, do you have an explanation of why the uh, nightclubs seem to be barren? Um, I do not have an explanation. Uh, I do have a theory. Um, the people in the city are not um, really up for partying all night, wasting time in clubs. Now. You, some may call it not being a waste of time, but I myself, as a devotee of um, of a certain religion, think that uh, the nightlife may have too many distractions in order for a good understanding person to have a fulfilling life. Now, of course, you need a um, you need to vent, but uh, people like to earn money in the city, and spending money. They don't do that much, and that's one of the, one of many reasons why I think the nightclubs are a bit empty. Now, I do have to say that uh, in my um, life, not so long ago, I was an avid party goer. I hosted a lot of parties, so I also think that the current um, yeah, event planners, if you would call them like that, are a bit lacking. I think that may also be the reason. So it's it's multiple a plethora of of, of, of explanations of why the, the the night scene is not that active. Night scene is dead. Uh, I do want to say that uh, the reason that I'm currently here 
It's sorry for me changing subjects. You know, I'm always a politician. I always think nope. like this. But no, uh, fine, the reason government. that I am here today is, of course, we are going to host a uh, event for the citizens with the minister of... Yeah, not minister yet. He's currently the director of economics and recreation. Um, but we are about to host an event. And an event like that, if you host it, you can always reach out to the governor, to the government, actually. Mm -hmm. And I will um, ask the um, future Minister of Economics and Recreation to maybe help you with that. But again, if I would join a event like that, it would be completely, um, how do you call it, undercover, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes complete sense. Can you, um, you've mentioned the, uh, the minister or soon to be minister of uh, the Parks and Recs uh, Department. Uh, do you have a name? so that the people of Los Santos will know the name of their minister and uh, politicians? Now, for now, uh, I don't know if you, uh, you probably do, you seem like a smart guy, but the minister gets chosen by the prime minister, um, also called the governor, which is me, um, but I do not like to work that way. What I really would want to do is um, talk with my organization and then come up with someone that will take charge of economics and recreation. For now, we have uh, Mr. Zamle Kebab. He is uh, currently the director of economics. Uh, but everything can happen in the future. I don't know. It's it's it's. Ah, there's it's a politician in you, yep. always yep. leaving a door open. Gotta love it. Okay, Governor. Hey, I won't take up any much more of your time. Thank you for answering these questions, and sir, thank you for serving the city. Yes, thank you, thank you. Exactly. Uh, I'm always a servant for the people. Let's not forget that. Of course, of course not. Okay. Well, this has been Nate with the news, and you have been informed. Thank you, Governor. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you, Nate. Stay of course, safe. Of course. <laughs>